Are you using Gmail as your primary account like me? Then, my friend, you need to harden the security of your Gmail account. Hackers are after it as it contains sensitive information like your full name, address, social security number, and as it is your primary account, it receives links to reset passwords for your other accounts, including bank accounts. In this video, you will see five security changes to shield your Gmail from hackers. Use stronger password. I know you have heard this so many times, but it is the first and most important thing you can do to protect your account. That's why everyone keeps suggesting it. You need to use a longer, complex, and unique password that you don't use for any other account. Go to myaccount.google.com security, click on password, authenticate yourself if required, and then change your password. Review trusted devices. We log into our accounts from multiple devices and Google keeps adding those devices to the trusted devices list. If you no longer own a device, you should remove it from the trusted list. Anyone can use that device to reset your password. Under the security section of your account, scroll down and you can see your devices list. Click on manage all devices. It displays the list by device type. You need to check the list and make sure to remove all the sessions you don't recognize or devices that you no longer own. Check third-party app access. The next step to safeguard your Gmail account is to check third-party app access. In the security section of your account, you can see the list of third-party apps connected to your account. Click here to review them all. You need to look for the apps that you no longer use and revoke their access. For example, if you no longer use an app, click on it and then click Delete All Connections. Don't worry. If you delete a useful connection, the app can request access again and you can grant it. Turn on two-factor authentication. Are you still not using two-factor authentication for your Gmail account? Without two-factor authentication, you have no security for your account. No matter how complex your password is, Hackers can get into your account with phishing attacks. Here in your account security section, you will see two-step verification. It's what Google calls 2FA. Click on it. You might need to enter your password. Then turn on the two-step verification. If you have added a recovery phone number to your account, it will configure two-step verification using text messages and Google prompts if you are using your account on an Android device. Click Done. You can see all these ways to authenticate yourself in the second step section. If one thing fails, you can use another to access your account. You can set up backup codes and store them somewhere safe. Or you can use the Google Authenticator app to get your code instead of waiting for the text message. You can also set up pass keys and security keys. You can use these options to log into your account using a fingerprint, face, or screen lock. Physical devices like two-factor authentication keys can also be used to authenticate yourself. These methods use your device's authentication features like fingerprint or face lock on Android and Windows Hello on Windows devices. To use a physical two-factor authentication key, click on Create a Pass Key. Then click on Use Another Device and you will get options like iPhone, iPad, Android devices, or Security Key. Select Security Key, click Next, and then click OK. Insert your physical security key into the USB port and configure it. So there are many ways to use two-step verification. If you don't have your phone with you, you can use backup codes or two-factor authentication keys. If you don't have these, you can rely on text messages or the Authenticator app. Just make sure to safeguard your two-step devices. Enroll in Google's Advanced Protection Program. The next thing you can do is to enroll in Google's Advanced Protection Program. This free program safeguards your account from unauthorized access, harmful downloads, and protects your personal information. The only condition is that you need to set up two-step verification with a pass key or a physical two-factor authentication key, which we already did. Click on Get Started, authenticate yourself with the pass key, and enroll in the program. So these are the five settings that I use to protect my Gmail account, and you should also use them.